If you're following along with my tutorials to crochet this little guy, today we're going to be making the nose. We only have a few rounds to crochet here. Here's the list of stitches and techniques that we'll be using. And, you know, materials are always listed in the description. So now that that's out of the way, let's get crocheting. I almost forgot to mention, I'm going to be using a taupe colored yarn to crochet the nose, even though it's black because, well, I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Black yarn, you know how it goes. We're going to start at the tip of the nose and work our way up. We need to leave about an 8 inch tail before making our magic ring and putting three single crochets in it. That tail is going to help us sew down the tip of the nose when we finish the head. Before closing up the magic ring, I pull the tail through the center so it comes through the right side. The tighter you close the ring, the more pointy the tip of the nose will be. But this could make it more difficult to start the next round. And if you pull too hard, you might break the yarn. Now before inserting your hook into the first stitch, bring the tail from the magic ring in front and across your work, just like this. Okay, for this second round, we need to put two single crochets into each stitch. I know it can be difficult to get this second round going, but just take your time here. If your work starts to curl up, making it inside out, no worries, we'll just flip it right side out later. Since the tail is now coming out of the tip of the nose, we can use it to help with that. Because we are working with such a small circle, it might be challenging to keep your hook from catching other stitches as you yarn over and pull through loops and all that stuff. But again, just take your time. I try to put my index finger in the center to keep my hook from going all the way across the work and getting into everything else. For this next round, we're going to put two single crochets into the next stitch and then one single crochet into the next two stitches. We'll repeat that series of stitches once more to get to the end. This round should be a little bit easier than the previous one since we have more stitches. We're almost done, so just keep on going. Before you start this next round, it's a good idea to count your stitches. You should have a total of eight, and if you don't, you might need to go back and find out what you did. Put one single crochet in every stitch and you're done. The nose should look something like a cone, and after that last stitch, you can fasten off without leaving a long tail. This end of the nose will be crocheted into the muzzle and we'll stuff it at that time, so there's no need to worry about stuffing it now either. Just store it with the other pieces that you've already made. Did you have trouble crocheting into that second round? Leave me a comment and let me know how you're doing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and come back for more. That's cool, huh? I made that. Thanks for watching.